Hello my fellow YouTubers. Since I made my stop motion video, or my stop motion videos to be more exact, I have had uh, many requests on how I did my stop motion, what program I used and uh, basically exactly how you create a stop motion out of your pictures. And well, a couple of weeks ago I decided to honor your requests by doing a video about it but uh, I have now realized I sound really 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 boring in that video so I'm going to try to redo it and not sound like an old man on his last breaths trying to put away some information for the upcoming generation before he dies or something like that. Well anyways, the first thing you need to do is download Adobe Premiere Pro CS5 and you can either download the free trial for 30 days from Adobe's website or you could get it by other means. You can either buy it for 15,000 crowns which is about two and a half thousand dollars which is quite a lot of money and uh, or you could download it in other means to get it permanently if you know what I mean and uh, well I guess we should start and the first thing you need to do is just click new project and and uh, you will get this section up and this is nothing really important, it's just this is what is important, it's where you want like to save your project and then you just press OK and it says that this project already exists, it's because I have tried this before to not screw things up and uh, after you click that this is what you will see and uh, these are quite a lot of options but if you would like your video to be in HD you press AV CHD and uh, then you will see these parts and uh, this one is HD and this one is full HD and uh, this one I have no idea so I want my video to be in full HD because I'm a pro of course and uh, I'm going <laughs> it doesn't really matter which one of those you choose it's uh, this number here it's just how many frames it is and it really doesn't matter at all because you're not going to use these many frames anyways so just choose one of those and press OK and wait for your program to load ridiculously slow and uh, yeah now your screen should look something like this and Obviously what you're going to do now is import your pictures. So we go to file over here and then import and uh, Now begins the search for your pictures and I think I have yes. Uh, yes. Yes. I have my pictures over here and uh, What you do is you click the first picture in your These pictures I'm not going to use in my video, but you click your first picture and then you select numbered stills and uh, by clicking numbered stills what you do is when I press Upna or open in English the program will automatically convert your pictures into a movie so this is why I love this program it's so easy I just click the first picture numbered stills and open and there your stop motion is almost done actually and uh, what you need to do is if you look here it's 25 frames per second and you can use 25 frames if you are really pro at making stop motions but you have to take in consideration how much you move between every picture if you move a lot between every picture you have to have a lower frame rate or it will look as if you are fast forwarding your video a good uh, starting frames per second is 
10 frames per second, I would say. So what you do is you right click this file, then modify, interpret footage, and assume this frame rate. And then you choose 10 or whatever you would like. You might want 9 or 11, 12, I don't know. And then you press OK. And uh, now we just left click on the file, oh, left click and drag it down here to video. And here you have your stop motion. But one thing you have to keep in mind is if uh, these, this is not all my pictures. The program did not import all my pictures. And this is because if I go to import again, I will look for, let's see, over here. The reason why the program did not import all my files is, as you see, all my files here are in chronological order. They are, yeah, sorted by number. But here, there is a big gap from 614 to 764. And this means the program will stop importing pictures here, which it has done. So if you want to have all your pictures in the move in the stop motion which I assume you do you have to continue importing like yeah. the reason why I get these gaps is because I did not I have about 5 scenes in this movie and I did not shoot the scenes in chronological order so maybe I did scene 1 first, then I did scene 3, then I did scene 4, and then I did scene 2. So I have had to move around my pictures into different folders so that I yeah, so I get a good movie out of it. So yeah, what you have to do now is just import all your pictures and in the right order, which I'm going to do now. And uh, the second part of my movie is in here in this folder, so I just click it, number stills, and open. And uh, now I have this also in 25 frames per second, and just right click, modify, interpret footage, assume this frame rate, and set it to 10. And then you, as in the other one, drag the file and put it there right to to the right of the picture and uh, yeah and then you just do this for all your files and uh, I'm just going to pause the recording and do it so you don't have to see it over and over again you just know the routine file import and import your pictures so just a second so welcome back I have imported all my pictures now I have set them all to 10 frames and I have dragged them down to this timeline. And uh, if you see I have about 6 small files and if you want to see them better you just go down here and drag this one and you will zoom in. And uh, <coughs> what you have to do now is something I did wrong the first time which is kind of impossible to know if you haven't done it before is if you just drag this and look how your video will look like you see here my face is missing and uh, I quite do remember that in my photos my head was not missing and this is because this little this square is uh, what you will see in the video you export and uh, obviously my picture file is too big for this so you have to left click on this and uh, just drag this little white cube and you hold it and drag it to make it smaller so that it will fit and just uh, like that and uh, yeah you just make it smaller like that and uh, as you see now you can see my beautiful head
my beautiful beautiful head which I know you would like and uh, you just do this for all your video files otherwise you won't see anything which was the problem the first time I did this so you just drag this line and yeah you have to drag this line to all the separate sections in order to change the size on them like this and yeah there and uh, now that you've done this your stop motion is pretty much finished if you would like to have uh, sound effects in your video just go to file then choose import again and uh, then you look up uh, whatever video file you would like to have um, I don't know where I put a hello video file somewhere but anyways I'll just pick a video file just pick this one it's <laughs> and uh, well you just drag the file from here down to audio not the uh, video and uh, now we have your sound in the video but if you look here the audio stretches far much longer than the video if it does the if you would export the video now you would have your video playing sounds and showing pictures until about one and a half minutes and after that you would get a black screen and the music would continue playing which you can I did this problem in my very first tryout on stop motion which you can see on my channel and it is this is not something you want it's really ridiculous and uh, annoying so you just go to the far right corner of the soundtrack and you hold left click and you just drag it down like that and uh, the progla program will automatically when you get close it will just suck into it so you get a perfect match and uh, now we have it you can just uh, drag it a little bit if you would like to see if you have all your pictures there and uh, now what you do is you go to file because basically your stop motion is done now if you would like to have uh, if you saw my other video or my stop motion I have many sound effects and different music and so on and what I did was I just I might have had one uh, video file that is this long and then something to here and yeah just zoom in and put the sound effects wherever you want them and well you, your stop motion video is basically done now so just go to file and then you choose export and then media and you let your program load a bit like this and I am I'm not quite sure what the basic settings for this is but uh, I had to search a while to find the right one but what to do is you go down here and choose Windows Media and then you go here and choose HDTV 180 if you want full HD or 720 if you want just HD it kind of depends on how fast your computer is and yeah how good quality you would like for your video so uh, here you can rename your file to whatever I will rename it stop st stop motion test blah blah YouTube and just save it and uh, make sure both of those are boxed in or clicked in if uh, audio is not clicked in it will not export the audio and uh, vice versa so down here you could just export the file right now if you would like to 
change some of the settings here. What you can change is if you go to video and uh, you can change yeah, the frame we are width and so on. And uh, if you can choose this one, render at maximum de depth, which will give you a longer export time but a better quality on your video. And I'm going to always choose this one because I have if I work a couple of weeks on one video, I can wait an extra an hour for it to export. I would say it's kind of worth it. And you can also go to audio and change the... That's a really crappy sound. You can change the sound effects or the sound quality, I mean. Uh, Hmm. Very strange indeed. Yeah, here. You just, uh, yeah, you choose something like this, and uh, then you can choose the sound options here. To, well, whatever you would like it to be. So, well, your stop motion video. Oh, uh, by the way, something I realized, uh, sometimes your video, when you export it, it will look like this. You have a yellow line here, and it's not all the way. If you would export your video right now, your video would stop exporting here. You would not get this last section. So what you do is you go here on source range, and you press entire sequence which will, yeah, export the entire sequence. And uh, you can also click in this, use maximum render quality. And uh, now your video is done, actually. You just uh, have to press export. I'm not going to do that now because it will... Yeah, I am not going to use this soundtrack for my video, but you're going to see how my video ends up. Just leave a like and a comment or something like that and you will see it later on. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope it was not as boring as the last one. And uh, if you did watch it before and you survived, congratulations. I would not have survived to watch that entire episode. If you have uh, any questions or suggestions or anything, just leave it in the comments and I will try to answer it as fast as and as good as possible. I'm not a pro using this program, but I know the basics and probably most of you who are watching this video are beginners and not professionals, so I hope I can help you in... Uh, any means you would like me to help you. So, thank you for watching, and I will see you some other time. Goodbye!